Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. And this is for Cancer Ascendant. Sun Moon Rising and Venus Placement in their chart. Jupiter may rest in advance the reading. Cross watchers are still welcome. So cross watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, then it is not you. Alright? Just because I describe someone, um, you're gonna assume that it's not that that it's you. Please don't. All right, Cancer. You are looking for a friend, all right? At least a companion. Um, either you're going through a lot, or you're searching for your person. It could be literally, or searching, kind of like longing for the energy of love that is not given by your person and you're longing it and searching it to other people. I hope you catch the drift. It's hard for me to explain, but you catch the drift, right? Um, kind of, it felt like you are in a relationship, but you feel alone and you need someone to lean on. There's something kind of like bothering you, um, it, it's, it, it feels down and it's kind of like good to know that you have someone um, beside you right now. Um, it's not fear or probably you just want some guidance and you are here, right, watching the tarot with a six of wands, seven of swords. Knight of Cups, the Devil card, and the Lovers. But for most of you, you are connecting with either a Gemini, or has a Gemini placement in their chart, or a Capricorn, or has a Capricorn placement in their chart. Um, You notice that this connection is, is, is kind of slowing down, right? Um, you felt that your person here is cheating on you. Or at least you feel that your person is either playing mind games with you, right? Um, you might also be connecting with someone that has a... Did I say Gemini? What did I say earlier? It's supposed to be Gemini or Capricorn, right? Um, there might be a cusp with, um, with Cancer. I mean Cancer, you must be a cusp with Gemini. Uh, see how, how the energy feels like I, I don't know where to go right now, right? Um, you want to hear some good news, but it felt like what is coming is the other vice. Because again, you're seeing your, your connection slowly fade in here. Um, let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is clarified by the Queen of spades and the four of hearts you are you, you're, you're looking for this great longing of love like I, I think that I mentioned this a while ago um, but you feel like you're going through a failure it could be through this romantic or to any aspects of your life however it feels like to you where are you when i needed you the most and there you go probably you are calling your person your person is missing in action um the first person that you wanted to be there is of course your twin flame or your person 
but you why is it that you have to find comfort right um, in the arms of others because your person is truly missing in action Knight of Cups is clarified by the seven of um, clubs and the eight of clubs um, you have a strong hope in this love of yours it felt immortal um, in the in the in the past months or weeks or years right until I think that it just it, it is just a sudden change of dynamic right from loving longing to where are you now right where are you now uh, you f feel so distant with your person or your your person feels you feel so distant to your person there you go because your person here is either intentionally that the cards are not flipped yet all the cards rather intentionally hiding or they don't even know where they at the devil card is clarified by the king of hearts and the three of hearts um, But you know what? If they are missing, they are in just in close proximity. And when I say close proximity, because of this, the devil card, which is playing mind games, either they're truly hiding in a close, I mean, near you, you know where they at, or you have been there. To a point to the extent of they are hiding behind your friends not theirs but yours mm -hmm. so I'm seeing here a snake friends mm. a snake friend is trying to sabotage your connection nine of cups two of swords seven of wands the page of cups and the ten of swords you're praying you're wishing that your person is going to show up you have tried all your best you also felt from the start that this is it felt like oh wow well, I'm in a jackpot right I, I I hit the jackpot um, in this connection that how it feels well, at first now there's the two of swords right it went jump right ahead and without a warning from the two of swords like we are already now in separation mm. We are already now in a, whether it is physical or energetic, right? Energetic, we're not even talking, we're not even communicating. Mm. Clarified by the, uh, by the two of swords is the nine of clubs and the eight of clubs. See, I'm, I'm seeing that the love is very near. Um... Are they intentionally, for a few numbers of you, they are intentionally hiding to, you know, somewhere near. But they're... And I can see here that someone is also spreading rumors about you. Um... This person's, you know, the, the, the third party or whoever this person is, is a 
very strategic um, kind of solving um, st stories, right? Uh, creating stories with a page of cups here. That's why your person here, from having the nine of cups, it went down to page, um, kind of lowering it down, right? Uh, for me, page of cups is... It's one cup holding, holded by, held by a person, holded, uh, held by a person. Um, but I can really see a snake friend here trying to steal your person, um, for real, real. I think that this is them, as you can see. This horse is looking, let's say that this horse is your person, but here is the enemy, right? They're approaching the enemy because there is a promise in here, but they're looking back. But the res I mean, their resistance is their resistance is very weak, you know, their seduction is very much stronger. That's why. They are heading towards with a ten of swords towards the enemy. Uh, with a ten of swords in here, clarified by the ten of pentacles and the jack of diamonds. Um, I am really seeing that well for a very small percentage of you your person might be hiding because of bereavement of a loved one that's a very small percentage but for a few numbers of you your person kind of like this connection of yours to them it's really on a what do you call that? The that beep thing, uh, the that beep thing in the um, ER, right? Almost flatline. That's how they're seeing this connection. I am seeing here. Not really a good news. Um, you might be hoping for a good news here. I know that most of the tarot gives you hope. Um, it's not that I don't want to give you hope. I'm just reading the cards. But you might want to know that there might be someone behind your back. Um, also close to your heart is sabotaging this connection. Um, if you have some questions with this reading or have some personal questions, there's a link in the description box. Click the link. You'll be routed to my page. Tap in your questions and then click submit. If you want to book a personal reading, there's also a link in the description box. So thank you so much, Cancer. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye.